Welcome back to the Watchman Free Show. We've got two more matches to play in the West to conclude the kickoff clash qualifiers. And one of those matches will be fought out between the LA Gladiators and the Atlanta Reign. Now, both of those teams are playing for seeding, a chance to secure a top four placement, as they both, of course, already clinched their spot in the tournament itself. Now, absolutely. Speaking, now, if we're looking at the other side here, the Gladiators, I mean, they only really fell to the top dogs, I would say. But they did make history, unfortunately, as the only team in the Overwatch League to be reverse swept in a back-to-back -back series. So now, so now the big question is, if we're looking at the opposition here, how would a Paddy fan soldier stack up to that reinforce? Well, it's quite interesting because I think they have a bit of like different styles in that Parifan, he's very aggressive. He loves going for these flanks and, you know, even dating back to like Thailand in 2018 in the World Cup and stuff, like Thailand was always like all out aggressiveness, just like going, you know, as hard as you possibly can. I was about to say something bad. Um, Whereas Kai for the Atlanta Reign, I mean, he's a bit more perhaps slow. You can see the hero damage, he ranks 17th, so he's not really, you know, up there as, as much. But he gets, you know, a decent amount of final blows and eliminations. Now, stats isn't everything, okay? So, this doesn't mean that, like, Parifan is, like, one of the worst soldiers in the league. He, he is so close. He's really so close to fulfilling all his potential. I think going into the league this year, we recognize that Parifan is incredibly mechanically skilled. And he just needs to tone down his aggressiveness a little bit, um, get some more value of his non advisors be a bit more composed we've noticed that there are individual mistakes coming out from the la gladiators when you get down to the wire in these very close series and up against atlanta rain it's going to be another one of those now when it comes this series each team uh, either team needs to win 3-0 or 3-1 uh -huh. to get that top four seed rose they want to do it so they can avoid being picked by some of the top seeds dallas fuel and the San Francisco Shock. I am 100% certain uh, the Gladiators don't want that scenario. Same with the Atlanta Reign, to be fair. Yeah. Glads, like Custer mentioned, have lost both to the Dallas Field and San Francisco Shock already. So, you know, if they do get out of the top four, if uh, Shock or Dallas pick them, they could be in trouble. Yeah, that's not good. So there's a lot to play for here still, despite the fact that the Los Angeles Gladiators and the Atlanta Reign have both secured spots at the kickoff clash already. They are also both sitting at a 3-2 scoreline. So, yep. Being 4-2, definitely going to put yourself in that top four. But uh, maybe they get to pick their opponent? Because I'm not sure where they would fall in that top four. I guess it depends on how many maps they win. Uh, Gladiators, let's have a look who they're running today. A rather variable roster. We've seen a lot of different shades of purple recently. We do have Kevster, Padapan, Rhino, Shu, Astro. Okay, we are going to New Queen Street as our first map. Push being the game mode. Looks like we are seeing Rhino on the right. Oh, oh the Zarya. Oh okay. my God. Well, Atlanta Rain did just lose a right against a Reinhardt team. So Los Angeles Gladiators just gonna come out with that because it worked before. Rain got a little staggered, so it all works out. Oh my God. A free shatter, double five strike, and Kebster with a final few bullets to kill Ultraviolet. Nero. Uncharacteristically, misses that dash, just lashes straight into the ledge and ends up going down to Patapan. This, they got 87 meters with 20 seconds to go. Gladiators are in full control. There's a tactical visor with a window. The Atlanta Rain need to find something big with this blade. Kevster gets slept, but it is up to the Rain to be able to touch. Kevster survives with 5 HP, healing station down, and this is the final fight. Window unleashed. There's the blade. Nero finds one, but the immortality field is too strong. He does kill Shu in the end, but can he do anything else? Kevster on the flank with the visor, kills one. Reiner, Using that as a distraction tool, kills OG with a fire strike. And Kevster's still alive and well, harassing the support line. Ultraviolet comes up big, but overtime is ticking down. Hawk and Ultraviolet out putting themselves on the payload. And a beautiful charge and a wall to attempt to stop Hawk from touching, but ever so slightly manages to make his way over it. Luckily for Rain, the spawns are in their favor. Overtime might be here, but Rain are never out of it just yet. No, they are not, Jaws. They still have to win at least two more team fights with Los Angeles Gladiators having these closer spawns as well. Rain, off the back of a Meteor Strike and a Nano Boost, have a far distance to travel in order to match that of the Gladiators. That is, they just one more fight. They're trying to find Hawk, but Hawk into the kill onto Kevster. Okay, go again, go again, go again. You don't want to fight. Kai putting up mad numbers right now on the soldier. 
Yeah, but Los Angeles Gladiators about so to match up again. Away. Another team fight. Nice dive in. There's Astro again with the beat. Can the visit too much? He's gonna just push everybody off the payload. Hawk is now frozen up. Good pin. Nice boop though. Can he survive that pin? No, he cannot. Reiner, hairpin turned straight into the wall. Hawk dead. Kai to follow the rain. Drop the map. Gladiators one up in the series. Looks like the Reinhardt comp is continuing to be their Achilles heel as Los Angeles Gladiators pilot that to success in this first map. Well, well we're going to Circle Royale, Rose. A few subs here and there. No surprise, we're seeing the beautiful man that is Space mm -hmm. coming in. A little bit of Sigma gameplay. And we're seeing Ards for yeah. the Gladiators. Skewed, stepping in to the back line, taking Asher out of the play. No way. Yeah. Ooh. Double sniper, though. Oh, that's a little spicy. It's been such a long time since I've seen double sniper. Yeah. But Hanzo Widowmaker can absolutely work, especially when you look at Hanzo as a character that puts a ton of shield pressure onto a Sigma or a Reinhardt. But, but in this case, it's going to be a Sigma. Uh, and that can be really big in order to provide Ons an opening. they got 10 seconds to go. They need to get back to the point. Yeah, they have to get back first, and they're even going to be coming back as a team of five. Double amplification matrix. Immortality field with news, Rose. Can they actually get there? I don't think so. Ooh, oh, Transcendence, I take it back. Can the Zen 1v6? Absolutely not. One catches on the field. Venom is on the point, hits the recall. Oh, but a nice accretion by Space. You see that prediction rock? Some oh, prediction yeah. rock. And it had a lot to do with the Hanzo pick that we saw coming out of Kevster. I mean, even just take a look at this this replay here, how much Kenster was really able to do in these team fights. Oh my god. They all predicted that. Oh. Oh. Both these teams being three and two. If the Gladiators win this three and one or three and oh, they do get that fourth place. They clinch the top four seed, which means they do select somebody. Yep. They end up in fourth. They, uh, you know, they don't get selected by one of the, the top teams. Yeah, but it does depend on them doing this one fight. They're doing a one fight strat. So, like, hold this final corner. That's true. And hope for the best. Just outskill, out diff the enemy team. Nice little uh, bit of movement there from Venom gets the back line. Not too much damage done, though, oh. for the presence from space. And Arns already claims his first victim. Kai is dead. Venom to follow. Both DPS now down for the Atlanta Rain. Make that the rest of the team. That is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, that one fight strap not working out so well. And the Gladiators, yeah, in the blink of an eye. Bit of anticlimactic way to end that map. Victory. I end up claiming victory. Put themselves on match point in the series. Gladiators have looked really, really good on New Queen Street. Obviously, we're able to do a full hold on Circuit Royale. But King's Row, Jaws, do we also see a first point hold on this hybrid map? True. Reiner, Badabang, Kevster, Shu, Astro. What we saw in map number one. And or, or Gladiators could run Ryan. Like, they ran it in their first wow. game. Well, yeah, I'm just. First map. <laughs> it's the Crypt's Night of the Ring. Oh, sure. no. <laughs> yeah, it I mean, is. there you go. Look, look at that. Ryan comp. I mean, to be fair. I think Reiner actually did get his name from playing Reinhardt, so... Uh, not quite. I have trivia. Okay, oh! Like, ooh. I, I believe it's from Attack on Titan. Oh, you're right! Uh, yes, you're right. Yeah, I'm a Titan. Uh, that's, that's probably not what the Rain want to see right now. Look at that, Kai's immediately switching off. Get, Get off Ryan Lamau. <laughs> Get off Ryan Lamau. okay. <laughs> quite get there just yet. There you go, there's the wall, there's the blizzard. Nice beat on top of the wall to try and save Hawk, but his wings are clipped, and so have the reins. Ultimate is off the line. Nano blade. But hopefully this there's the blade. nano, there's the blade. The beat's gonna come out. They're sitting at the healing station. A nice boot to force Nero back. He is going pretty low, and that shatter from Hawk ends, or oh, shatter from Reiner ends Ultraviolet's life. And now Kevster forcing the rest of the rain away with his tactical visor. He's doing a little bit of damage, but not many kills. They're relying on Padapan's walls to try and claim a bit of extra space, but with Reiner dead, they might have to rely on a little bit more than that. They use the window to try and scare off the rain, but they step up to it like they should. They know Reiner's not there. But Hawk does have that grab. That's what I'm worried about here if you're the Gladiators. Yeah, no grab dragons. Stormire got used 
I would love to see that Stormbearer used with the dragon, uh, the grab, so you can just burn through that shield. Comes up in a couple of seconds, but Ryan is just heading for the back line. The Grafton Surge comes out, and funny Astro just donates Hawker's stats there. No one was caught in until Astro just jumped on into it. Those ultimates, they've got to throw everything here. 45 seconds left. Yeah, they can't stall out forever. They can use the dragons to create a little bit of space, Rose, and then maybe go in with that yeah. Nano Blade. There it is. It finds a little bit, but Palapan and Ryan are okay just step, uh, stepping sideways. There's the Blizzard on top of Hawk. Beat luckily manages to grab the Zarya, and now they're just looking at this Nano Blade. But the Nano's actually used on Hawk to try and save him. Shu used the window and just guns down OG. This is a bad situation for the rain to be in. They've not really combat their ultimates, and the Shad is just going to end Hawk's life. The Atlanta Rain, they stepped up over the payload, but had to use their ults more defensively. There's eight seconds to go. That Nano would have been perfect on Nero's blade, but they had to save Hawk somehow. Wow, and, and you can't even get close because Kevster was blocking the path with the tactical visor. You could see OG wait, trying to wait it out, but by then it was too late, and that is where the payload stops here for the Atlanta Rain. Gladiators, all they've got to do now is get that payload there, and they have secured themselves okay. the top four. It's not a C... Okay, they're spamming C9, but it wasn't a C9. Maybe a little yeah, bit. Astro's chuckling to himself. <laughs> Okay. Maybe a little bit, but but not actually because Kevster. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are playing okay. really well. I like that. I like that a lot from Nero. Man Hulk, up and mirror. Man up and mirror it. <laughs> Do it. Come on, Hulk. Show us the oh. Reinhardt. I'm sure they'd love Gator in at this opportunity to maybe go for that mirror, but about to spawn. Okay. But yeah, wow. Kevster actually on the cast, the Cassidy. So excited to see what Kevster is able to do with this pick. Will result in a one shot on a 200 HP target. There's the Nano. Oh, with the Netty Grenade going a little bit wide. Nano boost on to Nero. He's earned himself a blade almost. He dies with it available. But I mean, that's what Ultraviolet wanted. You get the blade for the next fight or maybe for this one. But Kevster just holding down the fort with two of his supports at his, bar, uh, at his back. So. I mean, they can touch. Yeah, they can touch. There's the visor. Easy S moment here. Hold the S, just back off. No way you fight that visor. And now you just open up on the corner with a window. Hawk trying to go in though. There's the meteor strike. However, the B. <gasps> what? Someone type C9 right now. Actually type C9 right now. Yep. Yeah. I'd be furious. Yep. Says the Glad's coach. I'd be furious, Lamau. Actual C9. Unlucky! Frustration in the rain camp. They choked about it being a C9 the previous round, but an actual one was pulled off. A slight curse for the Atlanta rain there at the end. The gladiators just like that. A 3-0 and clinching a top four seed. And on this high note, we also are finally ready to hear it from the Gladiators. Hunter is now going to join us as their representative. And we're dying to know who they are going to pick. Hunter, how are you doing? Very, very good. Super happy after a really, really ridiculously yeah. easy win from Rain, really. But yeah, uh, the Gladiators <laughs> will be picking the Outlaws, for sure. Oh, oh. All right. All right. Can you give yeah. us some reasoning? Well, I mean, if you watch the matches this week and you see Outlaws going to map five, like neck and neck, a really tough match versus the Paris Eternal, which everyone knows is uh, maybe not the strongest team, maybe like a you know top top 12 competitor, then yeah, I'd, I'd say that Houston is looking like the team to beat going into the first round, for sure. I would be absolutely embarrassed if I went to map five with Paris personally, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, and of course, we have uh, Jake from the Outlaws uh, joining us now to, uh, you know, reply to everything Anto just threw at them. Uh, Jake, what do you have to say to them? Hey, it's fair criticism. You know, we, we we're just trying to keep it interesting for the fans. You know, get those maps. I got to get a practice reverse sweep. You know, so we can we can you know Thank fill you. up to, to winning any situation. 
I mean, well, I'm just happy. I thought for sure we'd be on the other side of the bracket. We figure we can beat uh, like every team. So in the end with double elim, it doesn't really matter where you start because you got to beat everybody. So, you know, I, I guess okay. it's just a little bit easier on the side of the bracket. Yep. Well, I mean, you're welcome because I mean, oh, I think oh, after oh, the oh. first game, you'll be on the other side of the bracket by default. So no issue there. Oh. <laughs> No, it's, it's, I mean, well, for our, our perspective, we don't care. Like, we, we don't care where we get picked or whatever. We're like, just, I, would, we're I wouldn't care about losing the first game, game either, so no issue. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Wow. You're mentally ready for it, I'm sure. It's good that you're mentally prepared because, you know, you never know how things can go on the live, yep. live land for sure. stage. For sure. You guys got really good players on your team, though. What? You know, some superstars. Yeah, you've, you've got some players, too, for sure. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> our, we have a team with really good players and then we have a team of players and they will clash and i can't wait for that Hunter, thank you for talking to talk now you gotta walk the walk though as well jake thank you so yeah, much we'll for joining best. us as well best of luck to both of you awesome yeah thanks thank guys you. have a good one <laughs> bye bye I, I think we we need Hunter is the most Australian person I've met, and I've I'm from Australia. He's got the mustache, he's got the mullet, and he he likes to slag at the opposition. So I don't even know how I would respond to that level of. He just has banger after banger. Yeah. Oh, I'm crying. I mean, I'm I'm with Jake on this one. He's just gonna laugh. Yeah. Uh, what else can he do? Uh, and also, wow. all the sweeter would a victory taste. In case the Houston Outlaw is going to come out on top, like clip everything Hunter oh, yeah. just said, right? Yeah. I, I